Hey, thought leaders, this is the personalbranding.com podcast, and I'm your host, Dylan Kivo. Join us to learn how to build a legacy, boost your reputation, and make a lasting impact. Let's dive in. Hey, everyone. It's episode 11 of the personalbranding.com podcast, and I'm your host, Dylan Kivo. And today we're going to talk about chapter 11 of the authority playbook, which is all about monetizing your authority. And if you haven't picked up my book yet, you can grab it on Amazon right now for like nine or $10. So when you become an authority in your niche, it opens up so many different opportunities. And once you're in that position, you'll have all of the influence and credibility to direct interest towards your services. You'll have the influence and credibility to direct interest towards services and causes that you actually believe in. You'll also be able to expand your network and connect with other influential people. Like I've said before on this podcast, authorities have the best qualities of both influencers and experts. They specialize their skills, but aren't limited to a narrow set of clients. And they can be flexible and even pivot within their field. But when it comes to monetizing your authority and making an additional income off of it, that's where things can get a little unclear for some people. So you need to have a clear strategy if you're going to monetize your status. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can do just that. Some of what I'm going to say, it might seem a little self-explanatory, but I have a few tips in here that I'm guessing you didn't realize that you could use to leverage your authority and start making money right now. Okay. A big advantage of monetizing your authority is being able to bypass the hassle of securing gigs, right? Or even clients. Let's say you're a graphic designer. As a graphic designer with authority, you have easy access to high profile clients and big ticket projects. There's a big difference between doing a project that you had to work on, just, you know, having someone skew out and doing the job. There's a big difference between doing a project that you had to work to get and having someone seek you out to do a job, right? So it's either that coming to you or you going to that. When you have lots of social proof and a broad network to really speak for you, getting jobs becomes much easier. You waste less time making calls, sending proposals, getting referrals, and providing CVs to people, right? How annoying is that? Like, send me your resume. So as a graphic designer, you save lots of energy by letting work come to you rather than you having to hunt for gigs. And as an authority in your field, you have the ability to come in much higher prices for your work. Make sure that you know your worth. But at the same time, be open to giving up favors by doing some work for free, whether it's charity or maybe it's a high status influencer that's going to be able to refer you a lot of a lot of deals. Right. You're not trying to become some kind of mercenary. You don't want to just start penny pinching and, you know, squeezing money out of everything that that you do because you'll gain that negative reputation for it. And besides. If you're an authority in a niche that genuinely interests you and it makes you happy doing some free work, it shouldn't bother you that much. So know the value of your work and don't settle for returns that are drastically less than what you deserve. But also don't shy away from doing work for free sometimes. A great way to monetize your authority is to start consulting. As a consultant, you're getting paid to give your opinions and help create strategies for your clients. You're also getting paid to act as a really a marketer, educator, all at the same time. Here are the things that you typically do as a consultant. You're helping your clients solve organizational problems by creating new business plans, showing them how to actively implement necessary changes within their business. And you stay on as a retainer to make sure changes get implemented smoothly, like an integrator, right? Stay on as a retainer to make sure changes get implemented smoothly and give talks and seminars and practices that would be helpful to your clients. And these days, consultants sometimes get a bad rap for showing up and just inflating numbers as their business model, right? They just charge ridiculous prices. And as in consulting, your goal should be to add so much value to whatever company that you're working for and treat its success like your own. 
To do that, you need to be honest with your clients and not just tell them what they want to hear. Good consultants speak firmly and without judgment. Show them what they're doing wrong and give them constructive alternatives, criticism. Being an authority gives you the credibility to back up your advice. The last thing I want to talk about is how being an authority opens you up to investing opportunities that you otherwise wouldn't have found. For example, back in 2018, I met a guy named Jeff Seconder. Many of you probably know him. He's now a friend of mine. We were both speaking at a conference at USC. We briefly chatted afterward about exchanging info. One year later, I was looking for someone who knew a lot about crypto. And I contacted Jeff. I remember he was the go-to guy. I ended up investing into his crypto fund. Let's just say it worked out. It worked out well. I wouldn't have been able to do that without that authority status providing with me the opportunity to connect with him in the first place, right? So my point in telling you the story is to say that your connections that you make, they're a result of you being an authority. They can benefit you in lots of different ways. Investing in opportunities are just one of them. So make sure to build a strong, mutually beneficial relationship with many people, all of your peers. And once you begin to focus on monetizing your authority status, you'll see that there are so many more opportunities to do so than when you're just an expert or just an influencer. That's all I've got for you today. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay golden and stay blessed. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear from all of you. Follow and connect with me on all of your favorite social media platforms at Dylan Kivo, D-I-L-L-O-N-K-I-V as in Victor O. And until next time, keep building your brand and stay golden.